Hello and welcome back to Crow Wing FPV. This is part three of my simulator reviews, and I think I'm going to continue this on. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have anything probably pretty soon, but in time when I test out another simulator or another one pops up or whatnot, I'll add another one to this series. So just keep watching for that. In this one, I'm going to be doing Free Rider and Free Rider Recharged. Free Rider was, from what I understand, the first one. And then, I, I suppose a couple years later, they came out with the recharged version, which is uh, better graphics, uh, better textures. Physics are still the same. The, the settings, the uh, controller calibration, all that stuff is still, still identical to the original. They just they kept all that from the original uh, simulator but they just made the graphics much better. Now they also uh, have the map creator in this one, and I saw it in the first one, but I, there wasn't a whole lot that you could do with it. I, I didn't see that you could do anything with it. So I don't know if that was just my install or what. Anyway, it's pretty easy to make, pretty fun to, to customize your own map, and it you can make a map in a matter of minutes. Um, it's quicker loading. Graphic-wise, I would say it's about maybe not as graphic in uh, in depth or graphic detail as um liftoff but it's pretty close i would say it's about on par with uh with with drl uh but drl of course just gives you so much so much more things that you can do with it so that's it uh, i hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching Now it's time to review FPV Freerider. This is a very simple simulator, I would say. Um, I just got done playing it, just installed, as you can see right here. Last play today, 13 minutes. I just installed, I just bought it. I think it was six dollars on sale or something like that um but the simplicity of it is actually nice and i kind of like it um i'm gonna load it up here in just a second it loads super fast bam it's in done simple um so when you first get in here this is what you see here and because this is a little bit more of a simple simulator i have the graphics quality on highest and it just it doesn't even affect my little m1 um so over here you want to go in and calibrate your controller it's really pretty basic and simple just center it like so um let's see let's do that there we go get that centered and it's done so now here you can come in you can you can change your trims so let's go ahead and just make it perfectly centered or as close as we can get to it that looks perfectly good there there we go so and then um throttle zero at bottom dead zone you can come in here and change your settings I'm not sure what it starts off with at the beginning, uh, but whatever it was, it was very, very sluggish, which is fine. It, it was actually, for me, I thought it was pretty good if I was like doing like a Cinewhelp or something like that, but um, I switched it to Snappy 2. Snappy 3 was a little too crazy, so yeah, Snappy 2 is what, what I set it to, and it's, it seems a little bit more like what I'm used to flying. I'm going to save and exit. So when you first come in here, it's actually going to be set to self-leveling, low rates, and it's going to be set just like this. This is going to be your initial first view. Um, if you're completely brand new and you're not used to uh, any of these sims or anything like that, uh, I wouldn't bother too much with line of sight uh, just because it's, eh, you know, it's not why you're. It's not why you're doing this. 
you just move the mouse and it turns this back on. Uh, go ahead and click camera and then it changes it back to FPV mode. And then you can get in here and start flying. Now this is set to auto leveling, which I hate. But if you're that new and this helps you, then I guess go for it. I still say start off with doing an acro. Just just do it. It'll, it'll help you practice. You're not going to damage anything. It's a simulator. So I'm turning that crap off. There we go. Gives you so much more control. If, like, it doesn't really help me, but. <laughs> Boy, I like those right side poles, don't I? Jeez. Holy moly. Anyway. So this is set into sluggish, really, is what, how it put it uh, for my settings. As you can see, everything is really slow. So to fix that, you just come up here and you put your rates on high. And there you go. That is FPV Freerider. It's a very inexpensive, very easy loading, very fast loading simulator. Okay, so now we're going to look at FPV Freerider Recharged. Now, Recharged, it says it came out at the same time, but I think that they're just going off of the original. So the previous one I showed you was the original free rider and I, I don't know the exact um i don't know the exact history of it or anything like that um but it does have more functionality new maps better graphics uh physics seem the same it's still quick loading it's still the same way you calibrate your controller as you do in free rider so i'm not even going to show you that i'll save the time because it's identical so let's hop in here and play. Um, one thing I do like with it is the level editor. I thought that was really cool. I'm going to show you that here real quick. And I'm not going to get too in-depth with it. Let's just grab something. I'll just Come on. Create train. So, all right, we got the terrain there. Let's put a sky in there. So, this is just the basic terrain, and it's like a 3D editor, just really limited. I'm going to move it up, and here is the plane. So, this is all the room that you have to build a pretty large map. It's kind of cool. So, I'm going to move back down. And I don't know, let's uh, let's put some mountains in here. Huh? How about that? So let's move it back up. And let's just build up a mountain range. And it doesn't look like it's doing anything, but it actually is. Let's see if I can change this. Look here. Get a background in there. Okay. All right. So that's it. That's, that's all you got to do for making. And of course, this is absolutely a terrible one. So is what it is. So let's see. Render the icon. Let's save it as. Let's just call it a test. And grab my controller here. And you click play.
And looks like I'm going to have a hard time hitting my own gate. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on. What the hell? This is why you use simulators. There we go. Wow. That was brutal. So anyway, that this is the other version of Liftoff here. And this is, of course, just the editor. Not anything fancy or spectacular, but it's cool. All right, so we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna show you some of the other maps. So, desert, you know, in the first one, the desert was kind of bland and plain. Well, check it out now. Way better graphics. Way, way better graphics. Textures, the lighting, the blur, everything. And it's still like a, on this little M1, it still runs, ooh. Still runs fantastic. Uh, what am I getting? 67 FPS, 70 FPS. The, um, Changing your rates, changing changing a lot of the stuff is still the same. Calibrating is still the same. Um, everything else really is, is the same. It's identical. And let's see, we got forest. Kind of change that around a little bit. Made it a little bit bigger. They put some put some hills in it. Anyway, that's the forest, and let's see, factory is a new one. I don't think that was in the, the original one. Factory is kind of kind of nice. Nice little bando. Buzz around in. Anyway, so there's that one. Uh, rocks. I haven't, I haven't tried this one yet. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice little design. You know, and, and all of this was made in that designer, so... So that's rocks. And then car park hasn't changed. Looks the same. I haven't seen anything different with this. This still looks identical to the way that it was in the first one. As you can see. So there you have it. Um, I wouldn't waste the money on free rider, the, the first free rider, because this is pretty much, I think it's a dollar more you get free rider recharged. And let me exit out of here. And it looks like they have a DLC for it. Um, where is it at? There you go. 
If you look, there's, yeah, it's $8 for this. And looks like they have a custom levels pack, which adds even more. I think it's, what, $3 or something like that. Pretty inexpensive, and they add, how many do they add? 10 extra levels. So, well, I would say it's it's a good choice. I like it. It's kind of like Orca, but a, but might have a little bit more, a little bit more that you can do with it, like building your own levels, which is kind of fun. You know, if you get tired of what you're playing on, you can build something new. Um, just for well, here, just for an example, let me load up Orca here. Just give you an idea of the graphics levels. Yeah, let's go to something that's similar. So, Orca seems to fly move a, a little smoother. Um, it's a little more cartoonish. Almost looks like World of Warcraft, almost, with the graphics engine. And if you look at my FPS on it, I'm getting almost 100 FPS out of this. So, the graphics, I would say, is probably much better on free ride than they are on this however it's a different type of graphic this has a little less texture whatnot the trees are a little bit different it's kind of like i said it's like world of warcraft almost but that's not a bad thing i mean you're still getting the same thing it just doesn't look quite as realistic so um, flying on Orca, uh, I, I think I like, I think it's a little bit more realistic, but you can change the rates and the gravity and whatnot on liftoff. Okay. So for me, I don't know which one I like better. Again, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of tricky. I, I still am a fan of Orca Skydive. I, you know, the graphics might be a little more cartoony-ish, a little more World of Warcraft-ish, um, but the physics are there. It, it does load nice, nice and quick. Um, I, I, I kind of like how it flies a little bit better than Freerider, and I, I don't know if it's just in the settings. I don't know. I just I I, I like it better, I, and the best part is 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 you know, skydive is free. So that's always a bonus. Um, as far as getting in and really doing some online stuff, online playing, multiplayer, um, building quads, building maps, and really just immersing myself into like community built maps, uh, racing, stuff like that. You can't do anything better than the DRL simulator. That is just an incredible, incredible simulator, and it does a phenomenal job, and it's worth every dime. If you just want something simple to fly, again, I'm still going to give my opinion as Skydive is going to be the best choice. Again, it's my opinion. And just want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.